I appreciate it. Thank you very much. This uh, is a an exact replica of the bracelet. I hope you can see it. I'm not sure you can. No. But uh, when when uh, the 60th anniversary of Pearl Harbor came around, I was a freelance writer, and I knew my father had been in the war and at Pearl Harbor, but I didn't know much about it because he never spoke of it. One of the things that I learned was, um, because I asked him at the 60th if he had any good memories whatsoever from the war, and he said his only good memory was, was coming home and meeting his two and a half year old daughter for the first time. And so at the, um, later on, I was talking to him again. I said, do you have any regrets in your 95 years of life? And he said, my only regret is losing track of my best friend from high school, Floyd Fuji. He and Floyd Fuji both went to San Fernando High School. All of my siblings and I went to San Fernando High School. And um, I found later on that that was significant because Floyd Fuji went to Manzanar and that's where my father lost track of him. Uh, he was basically, I believe, embarrassed that he did not do more on behalf of his friend growing up. However, one other piece of information I learned right before he passed away was that he was in charge of an African um, American crew at Pearl Harbor building barracks at Hickam Field. And this has all been verified by, by the way now with Quantico and everybody else. Um, <laughs> So I decided after my father passed away to make exact replicas, which I have done using the VETS program at, at Saddleback College and laser technology. So we make exact replicas now. I wanted to make uh, the replica originally and I found a Holocaust survivor here in Laguna Woods where I live who helped me make um, a copper version of the aluminum bracelet and I wrote a book about it recently, it just came out. It's called Old to Life. And you can see on the cover there is the image of the two hearts as one. The, this has taken on a lot, a lot now. So the original bracelet is in the Pacific Island Ethnic Art Museum. My, uh, the, the original copper bracelet is at the Museum of Tolerance in Los Angeles. And we have launched uh, the reconciliation project at the, um, request of Rabbi Cooper to close the circle of reconciliation for, for World War II using this image here, two hearts beating as one. And that kind of brings us back around to, <laughs> to uh, why I'm here and I, I really appreciate this because uh, I think San Fernando is a big part of the story and it was a big part of uh, my life growing up in a, a culturally diverse uh, environment. Um, I think that this this would have made my father very, very happy. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's very touching, very beautiful. Can I just say, I mean, thank you, um, Mr. Recusa, for bringing some up some of that history. And, um, you know, a lot of people from San Fernando uh, fought in World War II. We lost a lot of lives from World War II, as your, as your father, you know, probably knew some of those individuals and and lots of families still have and or uncles or brothers and others um, that they gave their lives for for really a world a, a different direction for for the world and um, the holocaust and other atrocities that happened during that time have to always be remembered and talked about the japanese um internment camps i'm glad you brought that up that it was your dad's friend who lived here or went to san fernando high school that he lost to the internment camps. And, you know, there was a holding cell just here in Silmar before went, people went to Manzanar. Um, and uh, it's just part of the, the sad history of, you know, what happened to Japanese Americans and others. Uh, so thank you for bringing that up, remembering our history and still having, a, you know, San Fernando um, in your heart. Uh, so really appreciated listening to your stories and, sh and sharing your dad's story with us.